Hi, I'm John, host of Video Games in the World. I know I don't get much views and all that stuff, but I want to talk about something very important regarding the riots. Look, the the riots that occurred re regarding George Floyd, and you know what? Right now, I was watching the movie Black Panther because I really enjoyed it. It's a damn good movie. I saw it in the movie theater. I saw it on Netflix. It's a damn good movie, Black Panther. But you know what? While I was watching Black Panther right now, well, I still, it makes me think a lot more about how one of the main antagonists um, in Jobu was right. I gotta tell you one thing, look. Killmonger and his father were both right about Stars. social injustices in, their, in the black community in America. So, so here's the thing regarding Black Panther and how it points out the social injustices in the black community. Remember that scene where, where T'Challa wants his advisor to tell him the truth about his uncle and father? Well, we all know when that Njobu took an assignment to go to America on a war dog assignment. And what the king did not know is that he fell in love, that Njobu fell in love with an American woman. And, and the two of them conceived a child, Eric Killmonger, or by his real name, Njadaka. But then... Njobu's beloved wife was sent to prison on fallacious charges and died in prison. So, you, you see, when, when T'Chaka confronted his brother about giving vibranium to Ulysses Claw, the only reason why he did it is because the black community he has a lot of social injustices in America. And it's kind of symbolic how the movie begins in the prologue to the movie begins in 1992 when you see Njobu while who planning an attack while his son was playing basketball all with his buddies. It's symbolic that it started in 1992 because it was at the time of the riots and the 1992 riots. No one could ever think that the riots of 1992 could lead up to this moment. Exactly right, to this moment. And, uh... So, as you can see... Njobu told him that he observed for as long as he could. Their leaders have been assassinated. Communities flooded with crime, drugs, and gang violence. And another thing is that, um... They don't have the tools to fight back against their oppressors. And also, they are overly policed. And that is true. The black community is overly policed. Someone has a broken taillight. Some asshole police officer decides to point one a gun at him or because he's going to reach into his pocket. That's messed up in so many ways. Not in so many ways. In every way it is messed up. We all remember all the, the names of, of black people who died at the hands of the police. And you know what? Back to Black Panther. In Jobu, he was right pointing out all the social injustices in the black community. But at the same time, the audience was told that the way in Jobu wanted to help the black community was not the right way. Because if you give weapons and power to the people who do not know how to use it, there's gonna be chaos. It's gonna be catastrophic. Yeah, it was sad how Njobu was killed by his own brother in in the in defense. And he could have taken and what makes King T'Chaka bad, I'm not saying he, he, he was a horrible person or anything like that. He could have taken his nephew to Wakanda uh, but instead, he, he chose Wakanda instead. So yeah, 
The movie Black Panther tells a lot of truth about the social injustices that, that the black community face in America, not just in America, but also in other countries around the world. That's what I have, have to say about how relevant Black Panther is. Now, in my opinion, everything that, that I heard from the character of Njobu is actually true. And we, and we still have a lot of in, social injustices, especially w w when a, a man I won't mention who is in charge of this whole country, he's the one who encourages this type of behavior. Hands down. And he needs to quit. Hands down. So you know, I just can, I can only hope for the best for everybody. Enough is enough. It's time to realize, guys, that when police officers first over, overstep their authority, people die. Enough. It's time to take a stand against police brutality. No, no, no. It's not time. It's long time to take a stand. Long time. For over 50 years, we, we, we had a civil rights movement and we still, sure, we got at a lot of rights, but, but still something haven't changed at all, like how the police treats the black community. This needs to change. How? By calling out police officers that overstep their authority and also the deep militarization of the police. And train police officers in, in, into being, into not overstep their authority just because they have, have a fucking badge. Part of my French, but sometimes you gotta get people's attention because that's all they understand. No one deserves to get killed by the police for no reason and whatsoever. Racism in every form must be stopped and called out at once. And that is all I have to say. I am John of Video Games in the World. Have a good day. Peace. And to the black community, you have my support.